and like I said, it'll take about two and a half hours to get there at a normal pace. So, Mango Bar goes to you guys, so <coughs> can I get you guys any bread or baked goods while you're here? I figured you guys are customers, I sell stuff. You what exactly like do you have? We have all kinds of breads. Our specialty is our cheese topped buns with melted mushroom cheese. And how much does that run? They run 50 copper. Ooh. I'll say I'm good right now. I've had my fill of breakfast, but we'll definitely be back later for that. Indeed. That sounds and what's the delicious. shelf life on these buns? They, I mean, I, I serve them nice and warm. I mean, I guess the cheese would cool over time, but they're still... But one, one could conceivably warm it again and consume it at a later time. Yes. Pretty good. And how I'll much is your regular bread? Your regular bread would be 25 copper. Mm. I will take one of your mushroom cheese buns. Okay. He goes in the back. He, uh gets the, the, the buns, he pours some nice melted cheese, which is, he made it fresh just an hour ago, so it's piping hot and it smells delicious. He comes out, he, he wraps it in a little bit of, in, in like some parchment to keep it, try to keep it nice and warm on the inside, and he hands it to you. That'll be 50 copper. And I hand the gentleman 50 copper. Thank you very much, this smells delicious. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> and do you have any right, seasonal well, uh, specialties that come around? Well, right now, this is our seasonal specialty. It's when we get our produce from the outlying local farms is whatever they bring in, I whip something up out of the ingredients that Come, come forward. So right now it's mushroom season. Perhaps if you check back in a month or so, maybe I can have some nice freshly baked uh, apple pies. Oh, next time I'm in town, I'm looking you up, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but alrighty, so where do you want to go now? Why don't we check out this supposed haunted place? Well, do you want to do that during the day or have some fun and do it at night? Ah, yes. Night would be best. Yeah. I, I mean, we, st we still need to go to the quarry. Yes, let's head there. Save that for when it gets dark. Then we need to go talk to Pell. Who? Pell. Pell. The kid. Oh. The boy that told the baker about the, uh, the ghost. The ghosts. Well, we could talk to him or just go there later. Uh, I'd I'd like I say we talk to him. I agree. Having we got time. a plan yeah. is the best course of action. Plus, we got time. I mean, yeah. If like we're if we're not. waiting until night and it's morning, we should probably do everything that we can to be prepared. Uh, it doesn't hurt. Yeah. So where do you guys go? Uh, the the quarry place is probably the closest to where we are right now. So I say we go there, and then after that, Pell. Okay. So you guys head to Melico Stoneworks. Any smithing? I think places? you're looking for a temple for smiting. No, not smiting. I typed in smithing. <laughs> like blacksmithing. I got smithing tools and I have no idea what to do with them. Uh, there are a couple. There is a smithy. Um, oh, there it is. Tantor? Yes. Well, when they go talk to him, I'm going to head there. Okay. 
So you guys head to Melico Stoneworks, and it's a sign set on two posts in a scrap of weedy lawn out front of this small house reads, Melico Stoneworks. The quarry pit begins just behind the house, which serves as the business office and the home of the quarry owner, Alberi Melico, who is a female Tetharian human. So you guys enter? Yes. Okay, as you enter, uh, attached to the door is like a little bell to signify your uh, arrival inside because they generally do a lot of their business out back into the quarry, so they need the bell to hear any customers. Um, from the back room you hear, just one minute, I'll be right with you. And about a minute later, uh, Albari walks out from the back room. Uh, yes, may I help you? That was very precise. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we heard that you uh, had you were looking for people to to uh, I don't know. You had work apparently. This is what I was told. Uh, yes, I do. Are you the... I thought there were supposed to be five... The, the ones that did the bandits. The, took out the yes. bandits. Yes. He left. Another person was, is Yes, with that's us. us. In um, fact, I hit many of them. I, I I'm not sure where he... Where, where's the fifth one? Um, there was a dwarf. Um, I'm not sure where he went. Did he say? He's he's off um, doing some smithing. No, I thought y'all were. I'm with y'all. I thought y'all were going to go talk to that kid. Not the, oh no, Corey. not yet. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, oh oh, the, the, I didn't see. Yeah, he sorry, is. sorry. I come running in late. I'm sorry. No, you, I didn't he's see just you behind the counter. Short. That's a little it's rude. <laughs> it happens all the time. I no offense. <laughs> well, um, I do. Uh, have a bit of a, uh, a, a quandary. Um, let me see where it says it here. Um, oh, I'm looking at the wrong entry. See, I'm trying to read what's not to be given to you guys. Um, <laughs> I sense she's hiding something. I'm just reading. Uh, there is um, a bit of a um, unknown treasure that I that I hear rumors of. That um, I, I overhear people while they're drinking in the tavern. There's rumors of this treasure in a cave not too far from town <coughs> called Tricklefoot Cave. Is it supposed to be tree? magical? From the from the rumors I hear it is supposed to be legendary. Hmm. Where's this cave? It is just outside of town in uh, she does provide you with the directions, and I will also mark that on your map. Tricklefoot Cave is northeast along the large path. Well, excellent. That's just... we can just go in a line, pretty much, almost. Yeah. Knock out does, two birds with one stone. Does certainly make life easier. And, and it's just sitting there. There's supposedly. Um, I have. Well, there has there to be myself. something guarding it, of course, if it, or else anyone would have already gone there and collected it, right? Perhaps. <coughs> I, I mean, I haven't been there myself. I'm yeah. too busy working in the quarry. But are there any just... rumors of something guarding it? Not that I have heard. Have there been any other travelers recently who have asked about this? 
Oh, uh, no, you've actually been the first to uh, inquire about this. So no one's actually gone after this before? No, no. Hmm. Hmm. Seems a bit odd. Yeah. I, mean, I guess it's worth checker. looking, but I I would be careful, because if there's nothing guarding it, then any Tom, Dick, or Harry would have gone and got it by now. Agreed. Something is suspicious. Is she telling the truth? From Can what we roll an insight check? When, from what you can gather, she is did. telling the truth. Okay. Okay. What do you know of this area? What kind of area is it? It is uh, located in the uh, the hilly section of the Sumber Hills. Uh, terrain can be a little rough at times, and Trickle Foot Cave is just embedded into the hillside. You, it, if you go to the area I indicated, then you should have no trouble locating it. No trouble well, locating well, it. You're talking to a well, dwarf that has to climb. <laughs> for the signs that say to Trickle Foot Cave. Well, it's just hills. It's not really climbing. It's <clears throat> just yeah, it's, hard it's walking. It's more like walking up a steep incline. Exactly. What other creatures might we find in the area? Um, I hear rumor of bears in the wilderness, but... Oh, we fought one of those, so... And possibly yeah, bandits, but... Also experience with those as well. This... I don't know about you all, but this seems like some sort of maybe ambush. Uh, if if no if there's nothing guarding it, this seems like a rumor started by a nefarious sort to get people to go there and then hold them up for their money. Uh, we, if we go there, I say we'd be very careful and try and scope things out from a distance as best as we can to avoid this happening to us. Agreed. I agree as well. Oh, oh, I got another question. What do we get out of this? You want the magical item? What are you offering in return? The man I brings say, up a good point. I, I would say uh, a bit, maybe a, of a finder's <clears throat> fee, maybe 30% of whatever is located in the, in the cave. 30% of whatever is located in the cave. This seems a bit low if we're doing all the work. What Wouldn't fits? 50 make more sense? No, she means Split 30 for her. Oh, for her? I thought she meant 30 for us. No, th no a finder's 30, fee. 30 for her, 30% 30 for her as a finder's okay. fee. Okay. Finder's fee is like, um, I... No, yeah, I, I, I know, I know, yeah, I know, I know what the finder's fee is. So you get, so you get the, the item. And 30%. Or does the item count as thirty percent? There, are, I mean, there's. It's. There, we don't know what was, the treasure is. I was under I the impression that she was going to sell it, and then she takes thirty percent of whatever. Yeah, or, or we could sell it and give her thirty yeah. percent of everything. Right. I, I assume we would get the item, and she would just get money. Okay. Well, let's see what we find. But that doesn't sound like a bad deal. Yeah. No, it's for me. We'll have to, we'll have to determine what's there, if anything. But you have a deal. Okay, thank you. Uh, perhaps I will see you later on this evening, and we can conduct our business then. Yes, e either this evening or perhaps tomorrow. Very well. <clears throat> we are going spelunking tonight. <laughs> A hellish spelunky. 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 I mean, you are you are a dwarf. You live in caves or mm. underground usually, right? I lived in a it's temple. Just exploring underground. Ah. Like what in tombs, crypts, caves, dungeons. Well, okie dokie. So, are we? Let's head there first. Well, that's farther away, actually. But it's going to be daylight. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Either, either we go to the crypt first, and then the cave, or the cave first, and then on the way back go to the I'll crypt. Either way, we're going to both in the same yeah. trip. Shorter walk sounds better. Are we speaking to Pell before we 
I, I would say that we do, yeah. 